Okay, so it's January 2021 and we all have to have goals, right? So in this video, I want to share with you guys some of my, I think all of my goals for 2021. I think there are 13 in total. So why in the hell am I sharing my goals with everybody? Why don't I just write them down and if I fail, nobody will know. They'll be in my diary and <laughs> nobody will know about them. Why am I sharing them publicly? Am I not signing myself up for failure? Public humiliation, actually. <laughs> but that's exactly what I've been doing previously, writing my goals down privately, and I have failed in reaching them and nobody knew. And it's always been okay, but this year I'm actually doing things differently. I was actually listening to this podcast by Erwin McManus. Oh my goodness, guys, I love this guy. This guy is like, the best teacher maybe i shouldn't say that one of the best teachers of the word of god out there i literally listen to this guy every single night i sleep so i was listening to one of his latest messages on the apple podcast and he was basically saying that every once in a while we as human beings we face challenges or we set up goals that are seemingly bigger than us or are actually bigger than us and unless god actually shows up in our lives we are actually destined to public humiliation and that's exactly how i want to live this year you know i want to live a life where if i do fail I fail on an epic scale and not in the comfort of my own room. So this year I'm doing things differently and I want to share with every single person watching this what my goals are this year. If I fail, I want to fail on an epic scale. Anyways, enough about that. Let's get into my goals for 2021. Number one, I'm actually going to start with the one that's actually already done, ticked off. The number one thing that I actually wanted to achieve this year was to be in a reality show. And thank God I was. Actually, a, a couple of days ago, I shot a reality show, which was fantastic. Guys, I literally was living out my dream. Most of you guys know, if you have been watching my previous videos, that I'm a huge fan of reality TV. Not because I want to be in a reality show, but because I want to create reality shows and I haven't worked in a reality show before. I've worked in movies, in documentaries, but I've never been in a reality show and I've loved, I've never worked on a reality show and I would, I would, I wanted to see how they actually make these reality shows. So the best way was actually to be part of one, you know? So I was part of one and I cannot wait to share the details with you guys soon when the show comes out. And number two, it's actually related to number one, is to create a reality show this year. <laughs> I want to, gosh, I don't know if I can emphasize the love that I have for reality TV enough because it's real, it's there, and it's something that's in my heart I really want to do. So this year, I want to create a reality show. It'll be great if it gets commissioned. If not, that's okay. But it should happen this year. I have to create at least one reality show this year. And the third thing is to create a project that gets commissioned by a TV channel or a broadcaster. That's it. I'm not going to say much. That's just what I want to do. Hopefully, it's one of the reality shows that I want to do. Um, but if not, if but if it's some other things then that's great but i just want something to get commissioned that's it the fourth thing is related to this channel actually i want to grow this channel so much so hopefully by the end of the year i would have reached 1000 subscribers i don't know how i'm gonna do that but maybe with a lot of consistency a lot of hard work a lot of more time put into creating more content that gets people good content that gets people to subscribe would actually be my mission so anyway yeah so that's the idea with this channel to get it to pass 1000 subscribers before the end of the year talking about this channel number five would actually be to create or produce five web shows on this channel 
I don't know what kind of angle I'm gonna take, but I want to create five shows. Yeah, okay, I kind of feel like I'm talking a lot about work stuff, so I'm gonna change gears and talk about something else. So, number six is to read 24 books before the end of the year. I kind of feel like I'm setting up myself for failure because I'm a slow reader. I read with a pen and I also read with a dictionary. There's a lot of words that I don't know. I'm a, I'm terribly slow. Um, so it actually takes me so much time to finish a book. Uh, but I'm going to try maybe buy like thinner books because I like to read like large novels uh, with like 400 pages. Um, and that takes me forever to finish. Uh, but I'm gonna try to, to read faster, maybe research how to read faster with a pen and a dictionary. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this year I wanna do, oh yeah, and I've actually read, I finished reading one book, um, Heart Stone, where are you? It's somewhere there. Um, I finished it today, um, and so 23 left. I'm actually thinking that I should do a reading club you know maybe on this i don't know I, it's something that just came to mind so maybe i could you know incorporate those books that i read on this channel i don't know yet but i'll think about it and number seven is to travel this year so i want to travel this year i've already booked a tour to take you for about I think two weeks and I want to do a stopover in Dubai but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen because I've actually booked that same tour last year it was actually for 19 days uh, for last year but it got cancelled cancelled actually uh, because of COVID um, hopefully this year things change because of the vaccine and we get to travel again so that would be great for me to travel and number eight talking about serious stuff now number eight i want to start dating yeah i haven't i don't think i've given this part of my life too much attention i've given attention to my career and my spiritual life and some other stuff but i've never actually given this part of my life attention so this year i want to take a little bit of more risk when it comes to love has scared me, it has scarred me, but I want to try it a little bit, you know, go on a couple of dates and see if I'm compatible or if the problem is actually me, and I think the problem is me, but um, yeah, if you want to go on a date with me, I'm putting myself out there, just yeah, message me and yeah, let's see what we can do. <laughs> And the ninth thing that I also want to achieve this year is to learn a new language. Last year, I was learning Turkish, Turkish and German. Funny thing is, or rather the bad thing was, I was learning them at the same time. It was during lockdown and I had nowhere to go. I was at home the whole time and I was learning both languages at the same time. It was a terrible strategy because I was just mixing the two languages <laughs> but the thing is once you know they've eased down the regulations and you could now go to work i stopped learning and somehow it just disappeared into thin air but i'm gonna try this year to resuscitate i don't know which language i should actually it's between turkish and german but i think i will go with german because you know i work with german people and mostly the clients that we get at the offers are german so I, I don't know maybe i will learn german i don't know yet it might be turkish but highly likely german and number 10 it's just a luxury thing i just want to get a new phone i've been having my old phone it's sitting there on the charger for i've been having this phone for 17 18 19 no yeah, 17, 18, 19, 20, for five years, guys, right? I got this phone in, no, 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 I lie. Wait, I don't know. No, I think I got it in 2017, yes. 17, 18, 19, 20. So this will be the fifth year. Jeez, no, I need to upgrade. It's the seven plus. So I need to upgrade it and make sure that I, 
yeah it's a luxury thing really it's not much of a goal uh, but it would be nice to get a new better phone maybe an iPhone 13 or 12 if I get it you know halfway through the year or if later on the 13 the 11th thing is to have six packs guys I've been trying for I don't know a couple of years now to have six packs but it just doesn't want to come maybe it's because I'm not consistent in my eating or my exercises but I've been trying guys so this year I'm gonna try a little bit harder to have that you know those those body shapes that just look so chiseled yeah that's just what I want to look less than 10% body fat yes I'm almost like that actually look at me and the 12th thing is to write a book actually no a manuscript because a book is actually a little bit daunting so I want to write something I'm not sure if it's gonna be a novel or maybe a self-help book or a recollection of my life maybe not that I'm not much about biography um, so a little, maybe a novel I don't know um, but I've been having ideas you know to write something um, so I want to start this year. I want to start writing something it's not gonna get published this year or even next year it's something that maybe will take me some time but this year I really want to start writing something yeah and the 13th and last thing Oof, it says 21 minutes. I've been speaking for 21 minutes now. Hopefully, the real time now, it's around 11 minutes. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, but the 13th and last thing really is to get closer to God. Oh, guys, this thing, it has really been hard. I've Okay, so the thing is I would get closer to God on some days or on some weeks. And that usually happens when I've prayed or I have fasted or something had happened at church where I feel like I've been delivered. And now I am able to pray more and, you know, to have this, you know, this connection that you actually just have with God. But, you know, after some time, that connection sort of disappears and it goes and you kind of feel empty. I think usually that is caused by me being busy, me being tired, and some other personal things that happens in my life, and I'm like, shucks, you know, I'm sorry, God, I did that, and you know, it just it just happens, and then it it just it just keeps happening, and and I get to a point where it's okay to sleep without praying, it's okay to not read the Bible, and I've actually last year I just bought a new bible because i just didn't have time or even the bible actually i just didn't have anything i didn't have the word of god in me and around me you know so this year i really want to try you know praying more building a more solid consistent i think that is more that is important because my relationship with god hasn't been so consistent it's been like patchy and ups and downs and i want to avoid that this year i want to have a really straight constantly talking good relationship with god you know a lot of people are saying rapture may happen anytime and i want when that happens i want to be ready i want to feel that you know if jesus does come today i i, I'm, I just have that confidence in me that you know i'm ready for his coming but anyway that's that's all of my goals for the year guys like i said i'm doing things differently this year and hopefully this video i will look back at it in december and say wow i've actually come a long way and it's kind of weird that i'm thinking about december now and i'll look at this video and say wow i said that and <sighs> anyway so anyway guys i hope this video sort of inspires you to also do the same to even though you don't want to do it publicly even though you don't want to do it publicly like i am i know we're all different and we approach things differently but maybe you want to 
do it and maybe share it with somebody very close to you where you can be responsible or accountable to so i do encourage having those people around you where you like my friend these are my goals please hold me responsible hold me liable for not achieving this and that if nobody knows guys you are just on your own and you can do whatever you want and that's very dangerous so my advice is to share it with somebody if it's not the whole world like i am doing now then share it with somebody you trust and let them be your brother's keeper or your keeper anyway guys thank you for watching this up until the very end i appreciate you i love you i love you to the core please don't forget to subscribe if you have not and yeah thank you guys so much Mwah, love you